What's up all you addicts out there? Super excited, we're back at you with another educational series. And this week, we got to talk to Eric Swanson. You guys actually went down to Bowie 10, but we the did. weather kind of screwed you. But we were able to get out with Swanson and talk about Bowie 10. We approached it a little bit differently. There's a million videos out there talking about how to rig. Right. We all know we love short bus flashers. Exactly. We all know we use P-Line Leader, you know. Yep, yep. All these videos are out there, they're on YouTube, and not saying we won't put some more of those out in the future, but we do already have some currently. So if you need to know how to rig up, just go over to our YouTube and check it out. Look in the videos. There's some videos on how to rig. But this series is going to be talking more about the other things of Bowie 10, right? right? And we were able to get four videos done. So what was the first one that you guys were able to get out and do? The first one we did was boat etiquette. And some of the stuff we talked about in boat etiquette was we all know that Bowie 10 can be its own animal. And when we're all out there at these certain areas and there's hundreds of boats, we just talked about some of the important things to make it easy for everybody and Absolutely. make it make it more comfortable for the beginner boater. Absolutely. And that's, that's a subject I think that needs to be talked about more right like it's right. not it's not talked about enough in it's the not. fishing community and then you know us as like experienced anglers we'll get pissed right I, I've done it myself like Me I'll too. get mad at someone and it's like dude it's we just need to as other right. anglers we just need to educate these guys right. and and, and realize, hey, we're all there at some point, right? right? Like, why we is this guy there? driving through the middle of the pack of all the boats? Like, he always, you know, pissing everybody off, exactly. throwing, a, throwing a wake everywhere. <laughs> so that's some of the stuff we talked about was, you know, let's break it down and make it easy for the beginner to get out there and, you know, gain a little bit of, you know, advanced knowledge from these videos. And this is a great way to get the conversation started as well. So if you guys have any boat etiquette things that you want people to hear about or anything, comment below because a lot of people read the comments on these videos and we don't delete them unless you put are putting cuss words in there so feel free to put whatever you want in the comments we love to hear your guys' suggestions eric has his own opinion on what boat etiquette is and i'm sure all you guys out there have your opinion on what boat etiquette is there's no book of law or anything on boat etiquette you know so if you guys have suggestions of other things that can be done other than what eric mentioned feel free to put them in the comments this is a four video series we had four videos filmed. The first one's boat etiquette, so make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell to get the notifications when the new videos come up on the YouTube. But just stay tuned, subscribe. We'll see you on the river. See you on the water. Hey everyone, Eric Swanson here with Eric Swanson Outdoors and Addicted Fishing. Today I want to talk about boat etiquette and angler respect. First thing I want to talk about is if you see somebody fighting a fish and you're in a crowd, reel up all the rods on the one side of the boat that the fish is on. Try to make a maneuver to stay away from that person's fish so that way their fish doesn't get tangled in your lines. They lose the fish and you have to tie all your gear over again. The next thing I want to talk about is if you have a fish on and you're in a big crowd of boats and your fish is taking a bunch of line, you want to holler at the boat next to you and say, hey, my fish is coming towards you so that way they know and they can reel up their rods so it doesn't make a big mess and you can get your fish in the net. When you're running up to make another pass, don't haul ass through the other boats. Stay on the outside, give everybody plenty of space, because there's nothing worse than trying to troll, and there's other boats going past you 20, 30 feet away, rocking your boat. Just makes for an uncomfortable time, and do to others what you'd want others to do to you. When you're launching your boat early in the morning or late in the afternoon, and you see somebody struggling at the ramp to get their boat off the trailer or on the trailer, lend a helping hand. We're all down here to have fun. And also, when you have your boat tied up to the dock, try and move it out of the main pack of boats. Give everybody as much room as possible. That was a few tips on boat etiquette and angler respect. If you want to watch more videos, go check out our YouTube channel at Fishing Addicts Northwest. All right, everyone, so that was boat etiquette kind of just getting the conversation started, really. Right. Yep. I mean, that was the point of doing these videos is we all have our own aspects of how we look at things and different opinions on things, but at least this will get people talking about boat etiquette. It'll get it in front of new anglers, and you had some great suggestions. Right, exactly. It's all about education, and we have to educate the new anglers, and I think this is kind of what that series is about. Exactly. So with that being said, we have the next video coming up, which Dude. video number two is going to be crossing the sands right and that can be a big animal in itself so. a big animal yes, in itself definitely. so make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that little bell go over to our channel you can hit the bell to make sure that you're always notified when we upload a new video so video number two will be uploaded tomorrow so like i said make sure you subscribe and we'll see you on the river see you on the river guys